<laughs> What's up, friends? How's everybody doing today? Today, I am going to bring you a comparison video. Now, I was in Ulta. Oops. I was in Ulta about a week ago. And I was just walking around seeing what was new and something jumped in my basket. That something was this. Now, maybe you can see it. Yeah. Now, this is Coco Chanel and this is a night fragrance. This is the night version. Now, this is made to sleep in. This is your, your bedtime fragrance. I was intrigued because, and I'm sure that this is not the first, this is, I know it's not the first, um, but this is the first time that I, myself, and remember I'm a new fragrance collector, um, have seen something specifically for nighttime. Go to bed in. Um, so I said, wow, I have to try this. And I looked up the notes, very simple notes, and looks exactly like the, uh, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle bottle, except for it's frosted, which I thought was really cute. Nighttime, frosted, you know. I thought it was really, really cute. So, I decided to pick it up. And if I'm hurting your ears trying to open this, I apologize. And this is the cutest bottle. I got the same exact size of the nighttime fragrance as I did the regular and I've had this Coco Ma oops, Coco Mademoiselle for years I wear this only see, I wear this only for very special occasions um, very very special weddings like evening weddings I wear this for um, special dates um, very very special occasions so as you can see in the years that I bought that I've had it it has not gotten a lot of wear. Um, this stays on my skin. So I only need a little. I only need a little. Um, this we're going to talk about. Because I did use it um, two nights in a row. Because I just was intrigued. I said, oh my god, you know, Coco Chanel and Mademoiselle for going to sleep. But before we get into that, my name is Ty. A.K.A. the Paisley Dispatcher. And I am a new fragrance reviewer for YouTube or on YouTube and um, I'm going to review these two fragrances now you would think that they were very similar being said they pretty much are the same thing uh, they're not now the original Coco Mademoiselle is a citrusy woody sweet white floral has top notes of orange, mandarin orange, orange blossom, and bergamot. So that's all nice, fresh citrus coming at you. Top notes. Love it. Then you have your jasmine, your mimosa, your ylang ylang, and your rose. That's a whole lot of florals. Love that. Then you have tonka beans, patchouli, apodix, vanilla, vetiver, and musk. Now, if you know me, if you've ever watched any of my videos, I'm not a fan of vetiver. Don't mind it in here. Um, I really don't even smell it in this because I guess it's the it's so much citrus in this and so much floral in this. And then you have the uh, vanilla, the musk, and then the uh, tonka beans. Kind of on my skin, it kind of drowns out the vetiver. So that's a good thing for me. I really, really love Matter of fact, I don't even want to waste any of my juice on this card, but I will. Um, just so I can smell it. This is a really pretty scent. I really like it. Nothing but, when you first spray it, it's nothing but that nice citrus. It's a nice fragrance. And then I love florals. I love white florals. I love the tuberose, which is nice and um, powdery. I love it. There's no tuberose in here. Just throwing it out there. This is a nice fragrance. Then you have the night fragrance, which also smells good. 
it's made to wear at night. It's a musky citrus white floral. Okay. Top note of mandarin orange. Mid note of jasmine and rose. Base note of white musk. That's it. That's all. And to be honest, you really don't want to smell like too strong going to bed. You want something nice and soft. But when I wake up in the morning, especially since I was, wasn't doing, I wasn't running marathons in my sleep. Um, may have had some extracurricular activity, but let's be honest, was it that much going on that your fragrance is gone? Shouldn't have been. Then again, I don't know what some people do, but I don't know. It's extremely light. Um, extremely light. And don't get me wrong, this is very, very, very girly, very feminine, very beautiful. This is a gorgeous scent. Um, it doesn't even last on me in my sleep. If I go to bed and I rarely sleep eight hours, um, it's gone before I wake up. When I wake up, it is gone. But it's very pretty. So if you have seen the commercials and you're going to say, oh my God, I have to go get this. It's going to smell great. I mean, I guess you can, you can definitely wear it during the day if you're going to layer it. Um, I did not see any of the pin size samples, like the, uh, what do you call them, the roller balls or the little sprays. I didn't see any of those, but, uh, and I didn't see any of the lotion. Now that you put the lotion and this together, then you're going to start having more of a lasting effect, which wouldn't be bad because I can see that. Um, a matter of fact, I'm, maybe I'll check online and I will put it in the description box if I find it. I'll, I'll link it. Um, down below if I find it. Now that would be a good idea. You put your lotion on and then you put a little bit of that. That would be a great idea actually. Um, but for what it is, I wouldn't buy it again. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would buy the lotion though. I mean, because when you think of, of um, Coco Mademoiselle, you want to smell like Coco Mademoiselle. You don't want to smell good for an hour and yes i know you're sleeping i understand you're sleeping but you know most of us wear fragrance because we want to smell good for an extended period of time so with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching i do appreciate you i appreciate your uh your support um it smells wonderful both of them smell gorgeous um and like I said, the Coco Mademoiselle, I wear it only special occasions. It is gorgeous. So can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with Chanel. You can't. <laughs> so everyone have a great day or night and um, be blessed. Be kind to one another. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Bye-bye.